uh, yes, when our van begins herding cattle. We're one of the cows. <laughs> we're one of the cows. Is that you? We come back from we the Coyote Gulf. the Escalante River. Can you clip this? It's really hard to find what the mileage is. Some say 13, some say 17. Whatever it is, we have to add like a mile because we weren't able to get to the trailhead and the behemoth. Um, it was really sandy. And it's supposed to be a really great hike. It's most popular in Grand Staircase Escalante. Brave reviews on all trails, saying it's a spiritual experience, more so than a hike. When we don't die, there's apparently some steep climbing. People are like, you need to bring rope. Other people say, you don't need rope. I brought some rope, but I don't think... We don't know how to use it anyway, so... Yeah, that'll be tough. <laughs> you can still see the van. Mm-hmm. We've gone miles. We just ran into two older men who were finishing up this loop. The one guy was like, they're not gonna be able to finish this in one day. I guess it's like pretty difficult. And we're off. She's off. Like a deer. Desert antelope. What are you feeling? I feel more confident now. Good. It seems like we go down there. And then the trail's over here. Yeah, we're back. How did you do that? Put your hand on that nub. Is this the great crack that they talk about? <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, if you don't want to carry it on your back. Some people might look at this and say, oh, I'd be too claustrophobic. But would you rather scale down a rock and maybe fall backwards? Yeah, no. it's way safer. It's safer, but it's scary. This is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. That's for Aaron. you're not pregnant. Well, we're just pitching it, huh? Just drop it right here. You gotta catch it. I know. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, blister the other day like I burned myself and then it became a blister from the burn I don't remember that ever happening in my life yet I was making a quesadilla so that's my story wee 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 
out. <laughs> we got this hike recommended to us from our good friends. John and Kevin picked us up when we were hitchhiking after our last backpacking trip. They are both from Utah and they said definitely do this hike, but do it in one day, do it in a loop, and do it this way. So starting with the crack and then going to the river first. And we can see why. Going down this huge hill of sand would not be fun. So thank you to John and Kevin. Shouts out. Round of applause. <laughs> I'm gonna have a thick boy. Thick boy. So desert crab. It is over. You're making this a bigger hoop than it is. We just had a traumatic experience. Well, I did. We got to this part where it was like just almost 90 degrees down and that this like sand material where like if you kick it, you can really break it off. And we kind of just had to like turn around, face it and like climb down. Let me show you what it was. I seriously had a panic attack. Like I was like crying, couldn't breathe. Ben had to shimmy over to me and just be like, Put his hand on me and be like it's okay take, take deep breaths <laughs> like he couldn't even be scared because i was freaking out this was the ground floor we needed to get to so like if you fell you'd probably just hit here and then roll off so this is the rope where we like the last little bit no mm -mm. nope would not do that again if i knew that that's what we were doing i would have not signed up for this hike i feel emotionally drained Escalante! Oh, yes, we found it. And now we're about to hike up a tributary of it. Mm. Coyote Gulch. Yeah. Yeah. Video me jump, then you leave the video on, throw it over, you video. And you just jump? Yep, straight up jump. An eight out of ten. No, oh, my. I just want to be done. That's where we're at. It's pretty pretty though. We've had some soupy tuna salad sandwiches and Clementine. Clementine, we're sitting here contemplating our demise. I don't think we're gonna make it.
clown. The clown. I don't think it makes sense. It's, it's suspension. Safe. Boot check. Yeah, and it's four. So we're gonna finish this in the dark, that's no doubt. How long? I don't know. I mean, eight miles in four hours. Not when it's freaking climbing over boulders and through rivers. But we'll see. <laughs> We just ran into a guy and I asked him how far we are away from the trailhead. I mean, who knows really, but he said three miles till the gulch arch. Jacob Hamlin arch. Well, I've had not very good communication from my trip guide. Really? Yeah, I don't know where we're going or what we're doing. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Turn that off. <laughs> I didn't ask my trip guide either. We decided to take the shoes off. This is Ben. That's a huge cave. There's a deer, and there's Aaron. Showdown of a lifetime. One deer, and my deer. Hmm. It is 10 o'clock. We have a lot to tell you. Oh but we'll tell you maybe even tomorrow because we're bad. <laughs> Aaron and Ben reporting live. I'm going to go hike everything that we did in the dark last night. Here's the deal. We left you last at the arch. We got there at 5.50, so we had just enough time to... Get out of the canyon with plenty of light. With light, and then it would have been, like, just sunsetting when we got to the van. We walked our dilly old selves around here, and then I went to check the map, and I accidentally swiped up. She swiped it closed, so we could not look at the map anymore. Forgot to bring the paper map, so that's even better. So I was like, okay, I think they said it was just past the arch the way out so we kept walking for an hour basically 50 minutes yeah then we finally asked someone looked at their map and we were like shit we walked right past it because it turns out the way out is actually before the arch we start madly hiking back to the arch and we're talking about the plans of okay if we try to get out of the canyon it looks sketchy then we'll just set up camp here like we aren't prepared to do a backpacking trip <laughs> but we could sleep in the sand we'd make a fire to keep warm let's be honest it would have been miserable it would suck we would have woken sand. up sand's gonna get everywhere yeah. you wake up and have all kinds of sand in your eyes and nose and mouth and i picture the little critters running around at night in the sand yeah so we booked it all the way back got here at like seven twenty, and by then it was sun's down definitely dark you see stars and when we saw that you had to come up with this nonsense... We all know how I reacted earlier in the day to that. <sighs> I just want to be done. The wall that we have to climb up is about like no, this. No. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It was! I went and saw it again in the daylight. And he starts scaling up this sandstone and I was like, 
oh my gosh, I thought that if it was going to look like this, we were going to just camp out here. I thought that's what we decided on. So I started freaking out. You were freaking out, and then I helped you up for a whole minute. Yeah. And then you really started. And then I out. really let loose. We sat there for a while, kind of figuring out what to do, calming Aaron down. I started sobbing. And I was like, I don't want to stay here, and I don't want to go up this thing. I am not having any fun. <laughs> I was just like, I want to be not in this situation at all, because nothing sounds good. I convinced her that we should go up. I was like, okay, if Ben really thinks that we can do this, then I guess let's just trust him. So that, you know, took quite a while because you got to go on all fours and Aaron was shaking the whole time. Basically carried me. Like I was scaling it a little bit, but he was like I really like hold. You. He was pulling me up the side of this mountain face. With the backpack on and with the flashlight. He had his <laughs> my other hand <laughs> But we made it out, and you should have seen the look on this girl's face when she got to the top. I've never seen somebody so happy. The feeling of getting up there, nothing like it. It's, I've never seen you so happy. I was so relieved. So then we finally get to the top of the canyon. But picture how the beginning of our hike was with all those rocks. It's just rock. Can't really see footprints. So you got a cairn hunt. So you get to one cairn, and then you'd be like, okay, I can't see anything. Where's another cairn? And it all just looks the same. But if you walk the wrong direction, you're not going to find another cairn. In the dark, it's a little hard, you know? But at that point, I didn't even care. Coming to the realization of, like, you could just sleep in the van. And once we got there, holy cow, we were so relieved. But we were also disgusting. <gasps> I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> it took a turn for the world. It took a turn for, like, I can't even begin. Tried to wipe off, but we smelled so bad. <laughs> We were, like, inhaling any food we could scrounge up in the van, and then I passed out. It felt so good. We roasted a hot dog. <laughs> yeah. We roasted a hot dog. Ben made these, like, grilled cheese tomato bean slop sandwiches, <laughs> which were actually really good. <laughs> and we had a beer to celebrate our survival. Oh, yes. So we really did make a lot of mistakes. I'd say... All kinds of mistakes. Well, we should always bring a headlamp. We should always bring a paper map. If you are prone to being scared of heights and falling off a cliff, maybe don't do the exact path we did. Maybe do it uh, one. Yeah, I don't know. I would say do it. It's okay. a great loop. It was an amazing. It was an amazing loop, and I would say don't do it in a day. Um, you yeah, can. Right? You can. But, but don't because you need to take your time. Like I, there were so many spots where I just wanted to chill for like an amazing. hour. The camping spots by the arch, you guys, like they were the best camping spots I've ever seen in my life. I'm pretty sure. And then this morning, <laughs> we're we're driving out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I said, "Time to get out of this godforsaken place." <laughs> And then we got also, stuck. Also, right before we got stuck in the sand, we went through a nice sand patch with ease. And I was like, sand's nothing. I think you got sand, cocky. Yeah, I got way too cocky. We were beached. Like, our wheels weren't touching the ground. Our wheel axle was covered. It was sitting on a pile of sand. Yeah. For like an hour, Ben and I are on our hands and knees. Digging sand out of the <laughs> And that's the story of when Aaron had three panic attacks in one day. No, sure. I think that's Is this my... the only time you ever had three panic attacks. For sure. Well, I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> he really is getting to know what the true Aaron experience is. One hike at a time, baby.